Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, hello, and here we are with Bill Jordan, our favorite, favorite boomer. How you doing, Bill? Well, I'm just, I'm just on cloud nine, given that introduction. Thank you, guys. Hey, Bill, it's, uh, it's that time of the year when we have all these... Uh, I call them the, uh, what's, what's the name of that? Hallmark. I call them the Hallmark holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day. Uh, yeah, and you know, I, I love them, but they are kind of, they are kind of iffy. For instance, years ago, we used to take my wife out, my mother out, we'd all go to a big restaurant, and that only, that only lasted for about five or six years because everybody got bored waiting in line because everybody else was at the same restaurant. So we all said, we're not going to do that. We're going to stay home and enjoy life. Now, who knew that everybody had a mother? I mean, really? Pretty much everybody has. Oh, they do. Oh, they do. Okay. Now, of course, uh, may their memories be eternal, those of us whose mothers have, have passed on, and uh, we don't do the Mother's Day for our moms anymore. But talking about waiting at restaurants, Years ago, we were waiting on a you know Sunday after church or whatever. We're waiting in line at a restaurant to get in, and I'd gotten a bouquet of flowers for my wife, and she's holding her flowers, and we're in line, and our daughter's with us. This guy comes over, asks if he can borrow her flowers, <laughs> goes, what? puts them with his mom or his wife or whatever, takes a picture, comes back, <laughs> brings us. <laughs> Brings us their flowers back. True story. I swear to you. True story. It's like he knew that he got caught. He didn't have flowers for. Her. <laughs> that's our, that's the it. whole Hallmark thing, you know, that started back on Valentine's Day, right? I and probably did, yeah. A side note that I'm sure you guys have thought this when you look at a card these days and you flip it over and you're going like, whoa. Yeah. You want, you know, eight bucks for a card? <laughs> It's like we need to get into the greeting card business, you know. Well, you, so, you you really hit the nail on the head because if you look, you know, you go in and there's racks of aisles and aisles of cards to choose from. And so you, you look at all these fancy cards. They're gilded and they got embossed and they're something. And you flip them over and you see the shocker, uh, sticker shock. Uh, so you look for something simple and plain. And then you end up with the the blank note card. It's got a nice little picture on the front. You flip it up and, and you write your own note. There's no saying inside. Three bucks. Yeah. Three bucks. Yeah. yeah. For nothing. Our, one of our favorite comedians, Brian Regan, has got a, a line about that, talking about when you're shopping for greeting cards. And it's even, it's got its own category blank inside. <laughs> yeah. and so he writes, I'm sorry you're feeling so blank inside. <laughs> So let me ask you this, uh, Bill, because uh, you think about things like this. I know that you're out there with your uh, uh, Embrace the Boom cup every morning, having a, a hot uh, cup of joe. And um, so you wax poetic about all sorts of uh, things. And I know that Mother's Day, okay, I can almost see, recall the Hallmark moment. But then, then they ran out of cards to sell for that. So they came up with a Father's Day. And I want to know, when are they going to come up with a, a, a son's day, a daughter's day, a pet day, and maybe a donut day, which I could probably embrace? Well, there, there is a donut day. I don't know if there's a card for that, but uh, there, we just had, not too very long ago, was like National Puppy Day. There are National Pet Days. There's even a National Cat Day, I think. Um, our daughter, in growing up, when she grew up around, you know, obviously me and her mom, so was, we're, we're celebrating Mother's Day and Father's Day, and she was just a little kid, and she said, when is it going to be Kids Day? Mm -hmm. Every day is Kids Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every day is Kids Day. So uh, there's a great, you guys may remember this, Jimmy Dean, you know, Jimmy Dean sausage and stuff like that. You sure. Know, sure. You remember he did a piece for Mother's Day called I.O.U. Mm -hmm. And look it up on YouTube sometime, I.O.U., just the letters, and it's for Mother's Day, and it'll, it'll just grab you, and, and you'll get a little something in your eye. You may get a little something in your eye and in your throat listening to that. Um, I subscribe to uh, supporting and treating my wife for 
Mother's Day, I know there's a big thing about, you know, husbands saying, well, she's not my mother. And uh, maybe some wives will say, well, he's not my father. But around here, I honor her with a little something for Mother's Day, and she'll honor me with something for Father's Day. But here's the difference to me. With Mother's Day coming up, we see ads for jewelry and trips and spa days and this pampering and you know, yeah, dinners out and all that and the flowers. Father's Day, what do we see? Here's a new attachment for your leaf blower. <laughs> Think about it. There's a huge difference in how we view gifts for dad versus gifts for mom. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but that's really how I sum it up. It's, you know, she's getting this and guys are getting, what, and also, hey, the, the moms will often say that maybe they do want a pampering day, but they'll often say, I want to spend it with my family. Guys are like, how do you want to spend Father's Day? I want to go play golf. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be as far away from the kids as he can. Well, so, I got myself I got myself a a, a very special Father's Day uh, gift because I care about me, and yep. it was a screw extractor. So uh, it was a set because it could do um, Phillips heads and slotted heads, and you know when they really stripped, okay. And it's really it's just a process, uh, but I, I feel gifted and. That takes care of me for a couple of years. Okay. Well, you know, it's uh, it's important to have goals and 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 you know things you really want in life. So I'm glad you attained that for yourself. Mm. All right. Well, happy uh, Mother's Day to all of us and all of the people watching, and especially happy the three of us, especially the three of us for having created Mother's Day within our own small community of well, families. You know, I've told her, you know, Happy Mother's Day. Uh, even though I had just a teeny tiny role in the process, uh, thankful that, you know, thankful for moms. Mm. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.